Right, so I've got my Arduino Nano plugged into its um, sensor shield board so I can get to all the various pins. And I've got uh, a potentiometer module connected into analog A0. And on one of the digital pins, it's uh, pin digital 9, I think, I've got uh, my scope probe because I'm just playing with PWM. And here's the scope trace. Uh, sorry, there's quite a lot of reflection here. But uh, I've got a PWM square wave, which I can vary by turning the pot, like so. But what's interesting is the frequency. It's pretty much exactly 10 kilohertz. And that's because in my sketch, I've put near the top there, frequency equals 10,000. So this means that I can have any PWM frequency that I want um, just by keying it in there. And that's courtesy of a library. If you look at the very top line, it's called PWM. Now I wanted um, a PWM frequency of 16 kilohertz. So what I've done is I've typed 16,000 up there and I'm just going to load that into the Nano. Let's wait for the TX and RX lights. There it goes. Now if I look at the scope, there's my waveform. Once again I can turn the pot and get uh, different mark space ratios. And now if I look at the frequency, 16 kilohertz. Bang on. So that's perfect. I didn't realize the Arduino was capable of such fine control over frequency. PWM frequency that is. But it is. And that library, I'll show you where I got it. So this is where it came from. If I minimize my sketch, um, it's here on the Arduino forum, there's a thread called PWM Frequency Library. And this has been created by this chat runner up. Now it's quite difficult to uh, locate this by doing a search on the forum itself. But if you just do a Google search for PWM Frequency Library, you'll come across this. And if you scroll down, here's the link to the actual code. It's at code.google.com forward slash p forward slash Arduino hyphen PWM hyphen frequency hyphen library. And you can either put that slash downloads list at the end or you needn't bother. So if we follow that through, that takes us to uh, uh, Google code. And here it is, the Ar Arduino PWM frequency library. Now the latest version at the moment is version 05, so I downloaded that, installed the library in my Arduino uh, software, and now I'm able to use this frequency library which gives you pretty much any frequency you want. So here I am back in the sketch, now let's put in a nice high frequency, I don't know, let's try 33 kilohertz, and uh, send that to the Arduino Nano, wait for the RX and TX lights to flash. There they go. And see what comes up on the scope. And there it is. 33 kilohertz. Brilliant. Now I'll just explain a little bit more about the sketch I'm using. In the setup you do an init timers safe. Uh, you can do an init timers but uh, that will also initialize timer zero and that will screw up um, your delay and millis functions. So the safe one leaves timer zero alone. Um, you then do your set pin frequency safe. Uh, set, uh, specify the pin you want the PWM on and the frequency. And of course that's this variable up here which I set to 33,000. Um, now here you can check whether the um, frequency was set successfully by just saying if success light up the uh, pin 13 and you can see on the nano pin 13 is the onboard LED this bottom one here so that lit up that means that uh, it was successful and then in the loop all I'm doing is I'm reading analog A0 which has the potentiometer on it and then you use instead of analog right you use PWM right pin 9 the sense value divided by 4 because of course PWM is 0 to 255 and uh, analog read is 0 to 1023 and then just a suitable delay in the loop and that's the sketch.